Hi, my name is François Simon, a sales manager at ATRsoft. In today's webinar, we will give you a general introduction to custom tools. With me today, I have Tim Rosendahl Arvosen, who will answer your question through the question panel that you should have on your screen. We will make room after the presentation to let you ask questions in order to let you follow better the presentation. We expect this webinar to take somewhere in the range to 45 minutes. This webinar will then be published on YouTube. What is Custom Tools? Custom Tools is a gold certified product of SolidWorks since 2002. It has been designed to help its users to optimize the way that they manage the data related to their SolidWorks documents. Custom Tools offer many different tools that are fully integrated into SOLIDWORKS, making it easy and user-friendly for its users. Our intention with Custom Tools is to help its users to focus on design by automating their daily routines. Today, Custom Tools is used by more than 3,000 companies in the world, in many different types of industries. Before I start showing you those time-saving tools, let me show you where Custom Tools fits within your design environment. If you are currently using Enterprise PDM, then you can also associate it with Custom Tools. Custom Tools is not a PDM system, as it manages data while ePDM manages the files. If you are using ePDM or not, Custom Tools can be used to integrate your design environment to your production allowing you to import and export data between SOLIDWORKS and your ERP system. We offer tools that will help you to save time in your design in many different areas. With custom tools, you will be able to fully automate the printing and file conversion of your SOLIDWORKS documents, manage your custom properties with consistency, automate the way that you are naming your SOLIDWORKS documents, allow you to import and export data between SOLIDWORKS and your ERP, generate different types of Excel reports, copy and rename your assemblies, manage your SOLIDWORKS files based on project or sub-projects, and also automate the creation of your DXF and DWG file. Let's first have a look at the custom tool search. The custom tool search allows you to search documents based on different search criteria. You can have access to the free search or search files based on their type or custom property value. Any of those search criteria can be combined together for a more advanced search. Let's now move to SOLIDWORKS to check how the custom tool search works in practice. On the right side of your screen you can see the custom tools search panel. This search panel can be easily customized with your own custom properties. You can use the free search, for example, to search documents. Here I'm just typing a configuration, which can be used as a search criteria. Or then you can search documents based on their type. For example, if I select an assembly, also an assembly that I have used in a specific custom tools project. For example, I will select the custom tools project. And then I can associate any custom property value with it. For example, if I want to search for the conveyor. As we can see here, we also have an autofill in custom tools. So custom tools remember your past results. If I now press OK, I have two results for assembly used in the project custom tools that are conveyor. From the search results, you can also access other functionalities of custom tools, for example, the print and convert, the export to generate your Excel report, or the where use functionality. Custom tools can fully automate the printing of your SOLIDWORKS drawings. With three clicks, you will be able to print all the drawings related to an assembly. Not only you will print all the assembly drawings, but they will also be printed to the right printer, paper size and orientation. Also with custom tools you will be able to manage the print order, for example to follow your bill of material order or insert the manufacturing quantity into the printed drawing. So if now from the search I want to print all the drawing related to that assembly, I do not need to open the file inside SOLIDWORKS. The files can be printed or converted even if it is not opened in assembly. This can be very useful for example if you have to print large assemblies that may require quite a lot of time to open. If I now click on the print and convert, 
custom tools open the batch operation window. Here I have the main assembly of that conveyor, and below it I have all sub-assemblies, parts and drawings used in that conveyor. On the left side of the window we have the print profile, so I have defined multiple print profile. I can select multiple print profile during my printing operation, and for each profile I am able to assign specific settings how my drawings should be printed. The settings can be defined based on the sheet format. For example, I can define that a specific sheet format will be printed to the specific printer, paper size and orientation. With one profile, I can associate multiple printing settings for different sheet formats. I can now show you how those are configured in Custom Tools. Printing settings are defined in the Custom Tools options. If I click on the print properties, here we have the two print profile that I had created earlier. If I, for example, select the print all in A4, we can view all the printing settings that have been different for different drawing templates. If I click on new, I can then select a new drawing template, for example here, some S3 landscape weldments. Once the drawing template has been selected, I can specify to which printer I want to print it, which paper size, and which orientation. Then I click finish and I press OK to finish it. If I now go back to the print dialog and open that conveyor once again, and select from per here the same profile that was selected earlier. As you can see here, Custom Tools is able to select specific sheets to be printed, so you are able to exclude certain sheets to be printed, for example, based on the sheet name or, for example, based on the configuration. You can also manage the print order. So here we can manage a print order based on the bill of material, alphabetically, or based on the custom property value. As for the batch printing, you will be able to fully automate the file conversion of your SOLIDWORKS documents. Custom Tools support all 20 file, for file formats available in SOLIDWORKS. You can define rules regarding how to name the converted documents and where to store them. From the same print dialog, I can access the file conversion rules. So here on the left, we have all the different file conversion rules that I have defined. I can select multiple profiles together, for example, to create my PDF. Also, I want to merge all the drawings of that uh, assembly into one single PDF, create some DXF files, and then create some EGS file. Here we also have the manufacturing quantities that can be inserted inside the drawings that I'm going to convert. For example, if I want to modify the quantity and produce it assembly twice, then the quantities are automatically updated. In addition, you're able to hide or turn on certain layers of your drawings. For example, if you want to produce some drawings for the production, for the sales, or for the customer, and you want to hide certain sp specific layers of your drawings. In addition, you can also modify the custom properties of the documents to be printed or converted, for example, if I want to insert the dates when the convert documents were printed. You can also insert the manufacturing quantity, translate your drawing, or reload or convert the sheet format. If I now would click on OK, Custom Tools would start the conversion, but I can show you the output file. So here I can open the explorer from the print and convert dialog. With custom tools you will be able to fully automate the creation of the folder structure. For example here I have created all the DXF for that specific assembly. I also have here the PDF and here we have the merge PDF. The merge PDF is a functionality that is added to SOLIDWORKS and allows you to merge all the drawings referred to one assembly into one PDF file. Instead of having 15 PDF files, I will create only one that contains all the drawings referred to that assembly. As we can see here, also we have inserted the manufacturing quantity. I can now close the PDF file and I can go back to the presentation.
Custom Tools offers a fully customizable property pane and add numerous features to SOLIDWORKS or Enterprise PDM. For example, you will be able to link the right color or dimensions to your custom properties. Custom Tools allows you to manage custom property based on the model configuration. I can now create a new part inside SOLIDWORKS to show you how Custom Tools can be used to fill the custom properties of your SOLIDWORKS documents. I can click on the properties to open the property pane of Custom Tools. This pane can fully be configured based on your own needs. As you can see here, when I open the custom properties, default custom property values were already loaded based on the project that was selected. You can also first force the user to specify specific property value in order to save the document. For example, the drawing number, marked as red, needs to be filled in order to save the document. If I click OK, then the user will receive a warning that that specific property has not been filled. I can then define a specific property value for that drawing number. You can also retrieve properties from dictionaries. You can add different languages. So dictionaries can be used to translate your drawings during your print and file conversion operation. You can add different languages and also import your own dictionaries. I can, for example, here select a specific uh, property value from the dictionary and link it to my properties. You can also manage the visibility of group of property based on some custom property value. For example, if the part is fabricated, then the user will have to define additional properties. If, for example, the part will be a part which is a purchase part, then the user has more limiting the information accessible. If, for example, I go back to fabricated, then we can see that new group of properties automatically appear. You can build multi-level group of properties. So here we have one properties with different level. That same property, we can also use it from per build multi-level properties for three, one property for each level. From per here, I have the first level. From per if I select mechanics, I can select then a specific value from the item group two. The value available here are dependent on what was selected in the first place. For example, if I want to have a fastener, and then in the group three, I have, for example, a screw here. If I would select a different value here, for example, a standard part, I could then select here, have a conveyor and have different values based on what is selected from the previous layer. You can also use custom tools to manage the revision data. So custom tools is not a PDM system, so we don't manage the file history. You will just add revision data to your SOLIDWORKS document. You can also use custom tools to link dimensions of the 3D model to your custom properties. For example, here I have selected the width and I can automatically select the dimension from my SOLIDWORKS model and link it automatically to my custom properties. Custom tools can also be used to build some combination of properties. So you can build different type of combination of properties. For example, here if I want the description, I want to link the description that was retrieved from my dictionaries with my dimension. So here I can select from the material bar type, for example, a hollow bar. And then we can see here that the property called description automatically fill updates based on those different value. If, for example, I would have a round bar, then the values in that specific property update accordingly. I can also manage a SOLIDWORKS material from the custom property. For example, if I want to select some aluminium, I can click OK here. And the document is automatically saved. As I mentioned earlier, you can also manage the color of your model from the custom property. So you can use a RAL color system or use the standard RGB system. For example, if I click if I open the right color, I can select any of the predefined color here and then click OK to apply the color to the specific model. Custom tools can be used to automate your own filing rules. By combining multiple custom properties together, you will be able to build your own file name. 
Custom tools can also generate different types of sequences that will be shared between the different custom tools users. We support top-down and bottom-up design. I can now create a new part to show you how we can fully automate the file naming of your SOLIDWORKS documents. I will open the custom property pane as custom tools uses a custom property value to generate a, fi a file name. As we have seen earlier, you can create combination of properties to generate a new property. This can be used, for example, to generate a file name. In this example, I'm using the property called file name to name my documents. So the file name is a combination of the project number, the sequence, and also the description. For example, I can here select a different sequence. I have sequence for fabricated part that I have created, but I could also have a sequence for prototyping. If I click OK, then the sequence is automatically inserted. A sequence number can only be generated once in custom tools, and the sequence number are shared between the different users. As I mentioned earlier, I'm also using the description. So from per here, if I would select here aluminium, then we can see here that the aluminium property value is inserted, but I have defined that my combination of property uses only the three first character of that custom properties. There is a lot of different tools that you can use in custom tools to automate your own file naming. If I now click on OK, Custom Tools will save the files to the right name and also to a predefined location. You can use Custom Tools to manage your SOLIDWORK files based on your project. For each project or sub-project, you are able to define specific file naming and storing rules. Also, you can assign default custom property value that will be loaded once the project is selected in SOLIDWORKS. The project features can be used to fully automate the saving of your SOLIDWORKS documents. If I now once again create a new part, I can show you how the project is working in Custom Tools. The projects are managed from the properties. So here we have the list of projects and sub-projects that we have created. As we can see here, with the project Custom Tools, default custom properties value are automatically loaded. If, for example, I would select here the project ATRSoft, then I have different set of properties that are automatically loaded. If I now press OK, so Custom Tools will save the files to a predefined location. Now the file has been saved and I can open here the file and I can open the explorer and here we can see that the file was automatically added to my EPDM vault. Custom Tools allows you to import data from your ERP to the custom properties of your SOLIDWORKS documents. This can be used, for example, to search items in your ERP and link them with your SOLIDWORKS document. The import link works out of the box. Custom Tools can also be used to automate the creation of your bill of material and new item in your ERP. The ERP export needs to be customized based on the ERP and data that you want to export. In this demonstration, I will only show you the import of data from the ERP to your SOLIDWORKS properties. I can now open the custom property to search for the corresponding item inside my ERP. I will now open the database item search that allows the users to perform a live search in the ERP. For example, here we have the list of all the items that are available in the ERP and can be linked to that specific SOLIDWORKS part. I can connect to multiple tables inside my ERP and then different uh, fields within that table. For example, if I want to search for a steel part, then I can just filter the data from here, select a specific item and then link it to the properties. Now the item has automatically been linked to my custom properties of my SOLIDWORKS documents. If I would like to export an assembly, I can then open the assembly inside SOLIDWORKS and export it to my ERP. So if I click here, I will open the same conveyor that we had earlier. 
and I can click on the export. So this can be used to fully automate the export to the ERP. This can be customized based on what type of data you want to export to your ERP. We can automatically create BOM in the ERP and also create new item and export specific custom properties to those items inside the ERP. With Custom Tools, you will also be able to generate Excel reports in two clicks. One of the key features of those Excel reports is that you are able to embed a preview image of the SOLIDWORKS model. You can generate different types of reports such as bill of material reports, spare part reports, drawing reports. Those reports can also easily be customized based on your specific needs. If I now go back to that conveyor, I can define different type of Excel profile report. For example, here I have just selected the out-of-the-box report. If I click on export, then Custom Tools will now generate the Excel report for that specific conveyor. In grey we will have assemblies and marked as white parts. We can also keep the structure under the main assembly. From here we have different levels. Also we are able to insert different type of properties. From here we have here the quantity, we have also the description, material, designer and other properties that were defined in custom tools. Here we can have a preview image of the SOLIDWORKS parts or SOLIDWORKS assemblies. In addition, I am able to insert link to the converted documents, so it could be any of the file conversion rules that you have defined. In this example, I have links to DXF and PDF file. For example, I can open the PDF file for that specific part. I can also generate different type of Excel reports and I can show you those reports that have been customized specifically for some customers. For example, we can have some order status. So we are able to connect to the ERP and pull data from the ERP and combine them with my SOLIDWORKS data. For example, here we have an order status report. For example, in blue we have parts that have been ordered, in green parts that have been ordered and delivered, and in yellow parts that have not been yet ordered. This could be used for example if some of the parts that are used in your assemblies require longer delay to be delivered. We can also uh, integrate those Excel reports with your ERP. So for example here I have built the same type of out-of-the-box report but in addition I have additional sheets that can be used to pull information from the ERP. For example, I have the cost, I can have some intended assemblies, some spare part report and the customer offer that will be sent to the customer. I can also have some BOM comparison. For example, if an Excel report is generated multiple times, then I can view here in yellow fields that were modified or in green fields that were added or then in black fields that were removed from the previous report. I can also have some spare part uh, reports, so we can also embed the logo picture of your company and have some different type of information. Here we have the spare part that I use for that, uh, in that specific report and then we can generate specific sheets for each supplier. Those sheets can then be sent individually to each supplier. You can use custom tools to copy and rename your SOLIDWORKS assemblies. You can use your own file naming rules to generate a file name of the copied document. Custom property value of the copied document can also be modified. Also, you are able to exclude files from the design libraries and toolbox and keep the folder structure under the main assembly. For example, if I want to copy that conveyor, I can click on the copy. On the left side, I will have a similar property panel as the one that I have defined inside Custom Tools. And then on the left, right side, I will have the list of documents to copy. The copy function can be used to copy and rename your document, but can also be used just to propagate specific custom property value to your documents. Custom property value can be uh, modified specifically based on the type of SOLIDWORKS document. For example, here for drawings, parts, and here, assemblies. 
You can also exclude files from the design libraries and toolbox from being copied and renamed. You can define a specific destination folder for your models and for your drawings and keep the folder structure under the main assembly. You can also use the project for example to generate a specific uh, file name. And here we have the list of documents to be copied. Custom tools can also be used to fully automate the creation of your DXF or DWG file from your drawings or from your parts. You will be able to merge all the sheet metal parts having the same thickness and material into the same DXF file. You will be able to automate the creation of your DXF file from your drawings or from your parts. The conversion of DXF files also supports multi-body parts. In SOLIDWORKS, there are two ways how you can create DXF, whether the users will create the DXF from the drawings or from the parts. If I want to create a DXF from the drawings in custom tools, I can for example open the drawings made for that specific sheet metal parts. If I want to create a flattened view inside that uh, drawings, I have different issues. I may have the dimensions, I may have some annotations, and this is also scaled wrongly as it's scaled 1 to 5. I can use the custom tool CNC tool to automatically flatten the view, removes all annotations and dimensions, and also scales it one to one. So as we can see here, the CNC tool has added a sheet called DXF sheet to my drawing, and this is also scaled one to one. I can click OK and now save the sheet. If I close that uh, drawing and that part as well, I can open the print and convert. So you can create different batch conversion profile to automate the creation of your DXF or DWG file. You can create DXF from directly from the part. So if I select a DXF part profile, then all the parts are automatically selected. I could also select the DXF sheet metal. Even though all the parts are selected here, custom tools will only create DXF for the files that are sheet metal. So the ones that are marked with a cross here. You can also automate the creation of DXF from your drawings. So if you remember just earlier, I used the custom tool CNC tool to create a flattened view. And if I select the DXF from drawings profile, then only those drawing sheets called DXF sheets are automatically selected and not, not any other uh, sheets. You can also use the DXF merge to merge sheet metal having the same material and thickness into the same uh, output DXF. I can show you what this type of files are. I can show you how those files are generated in custom tools. So if I open the assembly in Explorer, I can click here on the converted documents and then here open the merge DXF. So for that assembly, I have created three DXF files. I will now open one of them. So here we have the merge DXF file that was created with custom tools. With any of the DXF files that you will create with custom tools, you are able to insert custom notes templates. Those notes can be customized with your own custom property. Why to choose custom tools? One of the most noticeable reasons of choosing custom tools are the time-saving tools available. Custom tools allow you to automate non-modeling tasks, giving you more time for modeling. You will be able to save hours or even days on your design. Some of our customers have been able to reduce time to design by 40%. Custom tools can be used to automate different tasks, such as the creation of your PDF or DXF files. Also, Custom Tools is able to automate your way of working. Custom Tools is fully configurable based on your own needs, which means that Custom Tools adopts your way of working, not the opposite. It can automate repetitive daily tasks such as a file conversion, printing, or file naming. 
Custom tools will also help you to manage your SOLIDWORKS files with more consistency, allowing you, for example, to integrate SOLIDWORKS to your ERP. Also, all the features that I have demonstrated to you earlier today are integrated together. You will be able to generate Excel reports with embedded preview image. Custom tools come with a pretty awesome set of features not seen yet in SOLIDWORKS or Enterprise PDM. Around 20% of the features available in custom tools do not even exist in SOLIDWORKS or Enterprise PDM. For the other 80%, we try to improve or automate them inside custom tools. New features can easily be added or existing ones can also be extended based on your specific needs. Custom tools can also eliminate manual data entries error. For example, you can define rules, how custom properties are filled, named, and save your SOLIDWORKS documents to the right name and folder. Custom tools will make your data more readable. I want to thank you all for joining this webinar. I will now stop the recording to continue on the webinar on the questions that you may have.